What's good? Welcome back to another fucking Disney react. This today I'm doing Beauty and the Beast. This is one that you guys have told me a lot like to watch. I, I still don't know anything about it. Uh, I will get into my predictions in just a second here, but gotta introduce the squad. We got Chucky now, Slappy, you know him, and we got little Ashy Slashy. It's gonna be a good time. Whole squad on deck. So, okay, Beauty and the Beast. What do I know about Beauty and the Beast? I have their pictures up right here. So, I'm looking at them, and I know that that's not what, what she always looks like. She's got the brown lipstick going and shit, the way that her hair is going. I'm thinking, like, she's like a chola now, which is what I'm getting. Like, that's the vibe I'm getting right now, just based off of this one picture. And then he kind of also looks like he's wearing, like, a Mexican thing. I'm thinking like Beauty and the Beast is gonna be some kind of Mexican folklore, like maybe this takes place in Mexico or something like that. But like the pictures that I've seen of this bitch, she's always been like plain Jane, like she's wearing like a blue thing. I know she's a nerd worm. So maybe like she fucking like meets this beast and like he turns her right the fuck out. She goes to a couple of like family things with other beasts and shit and then all of a sudden, you know, she she likes mariachi shit, I don't know. I'm assuming that there's gonna be other beasts who this beast isn't cool with, and then like, they're gonna come in and start like, fucking with him hardcore, but like, you know, how Mexican families are, you know, vatos locos forever, get out of me barrio, shit's gonna go down. So let's get into this Mexican story about this girl who gets turned out and the matador beast guy. What do you want? I'm doing my Disney thing. Oh, I got a question for you. Uh, is it, can I go in my video? No. Uh, Joe, say hi. Hey, everybody. Hello, Joe. <laughs> What's up? I'm about to watch Beauty and the Beast, man. Okay, hey, this is a, it's an animal question. Okay, quick. What's the difference between a dog and a tree? What? Not too much. It's just that their work is different. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. Oh, that's mad pretty. Oh, all these colors. Ooh, okay. Oh, he a mean prince. He's not nice. Don't trust that beggar. Oh, she's hot as hell. All right, good going. Oh, but now he looks dumb as fuck. Oh, uh, I'm already wrong. And he doesn't even look like a matador. What's this blue shit that I saw him in before? He's not even 21. He's still underage and he's finding himself in this kind of mess. I've never seen this font for Beauty and the Beast fucking ever. It's all red and fucking, that's odd. There she goes, looking all plain as fuck. You need lip liner, and you need to learn how to make tamales, because tamales are dope as fuck. Well, she's prettier than Oreos. Oh, bonjour. Oh, there she is, getting all wet about books. Haters! Bruh, you just fucked up his mustache. Oh, she needs help with those babies. She read a whole book in a day? Okay, obsessive. Get a life. All right, so what I'm gathering is that she likes to read and everyone's like, weird! That one's peculiar there. How dumb is everybody in this town? Who's this ugly little fuck? She's the most beautiful girl in town. That makes her the best. This guy's got some learning to do. Some of the prettiest girls suck the hardest. He don't want you three bitches. Like fucking you all look the same. Got a personality. By the way, they just said bonjour a bunch of fucking asshole times, so I'm assuming that this is in France. She already kind of has that lip liner look, though, so, like, I'm just gonna say that she's a chola. Dad just fucking flash me? <laughs> he said boner. I hope so. I hope this guy does invent something dope as fuck before the end of this movie. Like, I don't know. Maybe to turn that beast not into a beast. I don't know, man. When you make something like an invention and shaking, that's a bad, I, like you did a bad job. These motherfuckers talk about boners and getting slapped in the face by wood. There's always one in these Disney movies. I think in the last one I watched, it was Sebastian. And in the first one, it was fucking Yogurt, whatever his name was. Frollo. I'm getting good at this. Big closet energy on that guy. This horse a fucking Clydesdale? Or is he overweight? That's a thick neck. Yo, Disney should straight up just do a horror movie. Like, fucking, there's... Every now and again in these movies, they do, like, really scary woods and shit. And, like, I feel like they could pull it off. Like, fucking, there aren't a lot of animated horror films. Not even one I could think of off the top of my head. 
But some of this shit be fucky as hell. No, yeah, break and enter, fuck it. And then not only does he break and enter, but he's all wet and shit. He's fucking up the entrance. You are not fucking it, bro. Ew, why is this... Oh, okay. We got like a Blue's Clues situation going on. That clock and that fucking candle holder, they both had faces. With some Casper shit. Why is he freaking out? Like, because all this shit can talk. So things don't talk normally. I really let Disney get away with shit because they make animals talk and shit, but he looks freaked out. Also, what is this? It looks like he's like rooting around in him and stuff. Like this looks, I, I don't know. I can't say the word on YouTube, but he's fingering the shit out of this clock. They let me say that shit. It's a dog ottoman. What is happening in this fucking crazy townhouse? He's already chipped and shit. Yo, smash this motherfucker. I just want to see him scream. Is that the devil? I oh, know it's the beast. Yeah, that makes sense. Yo, the beast is not something to fuck with. This dude is serious business. Oh, he's so insecure. Oh shit, is he gonna kill her dad? Or maybe he'll turn him into one of these bullshit, like he'll be a screwdriver or some shit. Is Bell just small as fuck or is fucking gas tank, gastro, whatever his name is. This motherfucker just like seven, eight or some shit. He is gigantic. You are not a boy. Motherfucker, you look 37 years old. This is uncomfortable. I don't like how this motherfucker went up in her house and was all like, you don't marry me, bitch. This is the same asshole song that we already heard. I read like the description of this video and shit. It was like, unforgettable songs. Clearly, every asshole song's the fucking same. I see that everybody's French now. I'm still holding out for like one Spanish character so that way I'm kind of right. Why is everything in this fucking house alive? Oh, he didn't kill him. He's just a prisoner now. That's kinky. I don't like the beast. He a motherfucker and a half. Stay here forever? The fuck? You couldn't tell that he was a beast before he stepped out of the shadows and shit? It was not that dark, you blind fuck. Don't you read? Whatever, it's no skin off her fucking tits. She hates that town anyway. Motherfucker said, I'm daddy now. Your baby girl is my baby girl now. Get the fuck out of my castle. <laughs> this candlestick's like, yo, why don't, uh, you know, you be nice to her. Maybe get laid, you beast ass motherfucker. Whew. I can't, I don't even know if this is kidnap or what. Like, fuck. Yeah, you're fucking humiliated, bro. Shit's fucked. Why is this little dude all over his dick like this? Is Gas Tank a fucking, like, king or prince or something? Oh, he snuffed him right in the... Yep, that's why his teeth are fucked up. Yeah, don't agree with this guy's attitude towards Gas Tank. I think Gas Tank is kind of a D-bag. Yeah, bro, can't hate that. You're swole as fuck, I'll give you that. You spent a little time in the gym, no big deal. I fucking, uh, I do that shit too, man. Oh, he's causing a problem. Watch Gas Tank be like, not my girl, I'm. that's my girlfriend. She don't know yet, but that's my girlfriend. All right, this is the one time in this movie so far that I agree with Gas Tank. Like, yeah, if homie's daughter who you're in love with is fucked up and in a shitty situation, you should go do something about that. Get some fucking brownie points. Because right now she is not fucking with you. If I were him though, I would try and have a quick threesome with these three blondes because like... They, dude, they'll share. That's what I'm saying. This shit is impossible. Why is everything talking to you? How potent is the acid? Oh, his name is Chip. That's cute, because, you know, he's a mongoloid. So this dresser just gets to watch her change and shit? I guess she's a lady, too, so it's like, I have nothing, you don't have anything that I don't have. I remember fucking people saying that shit to me when I was, like, a little kid, and I never have to, like, get dressed, like, in front of older men and shit. Not like that. But, you know, just fucking very innocent, like, fucking, you know, you gotta change. You're fucking, you know, you go swimming and you gotta put on trunks and shit. There'll always be that one asshole that's like, fucking get over it. You don't have anything I haven't seen before. Yes, the fuck, I do have some shit that you've never seen before. You've never seen my dick ever, not even once. These still my dicks and balls, son. Fuck out of here. I love that they're all trying so hard to get this motherfucker laid. He's a little complex character, this beast, huh? He's like... Ugh, I mean, don't look at me. But at the exact same time, it's kind of like, I could use some company. It, like, it, it has sucked. She's really not being difficult. You fucking, you kidnapped her dad. And then you were like, nah, bruh, you fucking, you want him free? Then you stay. And now she doesn't want to hang out with you. And you're like, she's so difficult. Yo, what is this guy's fucking level? If she doesn't eat with me, then she can't eat at all. She could just starve to death. Ah. Maybe I'm just fooling myself. I hate the beast. 
I get that he's insecure as fuck and that like he doesn't like the way he looks in the mirror, but it's deeper than that. His personality is shit. Yo, were they just fucking behind that curtain? The candlestick was sucking a little titty. I bet the little duster likes it because it's dangerous. If he gets a little too close, uh-oh, what'll happen? Oh, it's so dirty. That'll piss me off as the beast too. Like, she gets along with everybody else but me. This is my house. Yes, I'm a crazy fucking kidnapper. But yo, this is my, I pay the rent still. This is my dog, Taco, by the way. You could be my guest, Taco. She'll get me like I'm fucked up. Like, she hasn't lived here for 11 years. I like this song, but it's like, treat me like I'm fucking stupid. Like, I wasn't there when the beast was like, you gotta be here forever. That's not a guest. That's like a permanent residency. Of all these things that aren't supposed to be a fucking live, I like the candlestick the most. He gets freaky. There's danger involved with him because he's hot to the touch. He's the most French. I just fuck with this guy. The clock is cool too, but like I just don't give a fuck about him. I can't believe they're not Mexican. Oh my God, what is in the fucking West Wing? We're 44 minutes into this fucking film. Let's... Look, I should be a bunch of bitch ass books and shit. He's just a nerd. Don't get distracted, you one track mind. Oh, you fuck you. Oh, she's not getting distracted. Okay. Look at the big brain on Belle. Oh, it's all shitty in the West Wing. He just hasn't decorated it. Oh, don't go over there. It's not ready. Oh, this is just like Charlie's bad room. Like, this is where he comes to flip the fuck out. Oh, no, this is where he keeps the rose and shit. Fucking slit her throat with your nails. This guy has so many issues. Rage, insecurity, over attachment to his property. Like fucking go to therapy, beast. This movie should be called Therapist and the Beast because that's what this motherfucker needs. Oh, uh, ladies, bitch ass wolves. I hope the fucking beast comes through and like gets some goddamn brownie points. Can four wolves take down a Clydesdale? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, Belle, let that hair out. Looking good and shit. Oh shit, the beast is real. I wish there were blood in these movies. I just want to see the beast like ripping these motherfuckers apart. I want stained snow. Oh, there is blood. Look at his little scratch on his little arm. Oh, that's dumb. You barely got fucking hurt. Up oh, there goes that Stockholm Syndrome kicking in. Cool. Someone identifying with their captor. That hurts. You are a bitch and a half, bro. Who's this seedy little cunt? Looking like the Crypt Keeper himself. I want you to fucking start a horror anthology TV show where you say hi, boils and ghouls. Lefu is his name. That's not a person name. That's a that's a ferret name. This isn't a name anywhere. I typed in fucking Lefu. This is the only motherfucker that pops up. There's never been another Lefu. She don't like that, bro. Eat like a fucking person. Don't give a fuck about this song. Look at the beast, he's naked and I see his schlong. He does look stupid. He looks stupid as fuck. Oh look, fucking Belle looks like a chola. Yep, this is what I was thinking. Are they about to have the fucking quinceanera, father-daughter dance ask thing? He looks like a goddamn matador. Oh, tale as old as time, I know this shit. Beauty and the Beast, yup. You can't fucking, yup, I know this shit. I'm not even gonna front though, this song is, this, this is a nice song. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't love their relationship, but it's sweet. So motherfucker can't eat, but he can professionally ball dance. I'm trying to tell me it's a tale's all this time. When time is a construct, my man, that's what they want you to think. Yeah, scoot over, man. Fucking get, get them hands on her. Try and get that kiss, son. Where the fuck did he get this mirror? Oh no, dad is having a hard time. What is dad sick of? I don't see him coughing up blood or fucking not being able to do shit. Wait, so you're free now? That's it? You're not gonna kick it with this dude? The fuck, bro? You put in so much time. Oh, I hate you. You're a beast of burden to me. She's gonna come back, though. She's gonna come back. How could he do that? Because it's the right thing to do, you clock. If he becomes like a poison, does everybody else become a poison too? Is that the way this works? Why are you pissed now? You did this. You did the right thing. Oh, I hate you, dude. Stockholm Syndrome. He's every bit as shit as when you fucking met him. You're dope and you're pretty, but you didn't. You're not a miracle worker. Chip. This motherfucker should be named Trip because he tripping right now. The fuck? Why wouldn't she leave? Oh, no. Why is dad all crazy now? That's fucked up. Oh, rude. This is... I don't like... Why do they do this in every fucking movie? How much time is left? 
How much time is left? 24 minutes, and of course, they're gonna pull some bullshit. Okay, this is not what I, I... When I told you to start doing some good shit, this isn't what I meant, Gas Tank. This is a fucky way to do this. I don't believe it. I think he would hurt a lot of fucking people. Back against the wall, that motherfucker will eat a baby. Like a Florida alligator. All right, quick fucking checking, because we got 20 minutes left, and I don't know where this is going. Because I'm very confused as to what they're going to do with the beast now. I mean, I have a good idea that they're going to fucking kill the beast. They're going to, obviously, they're going to go and, like, he's a problem. But what does that solve? And, like, they're not. It's a fucking dickhead Disney movie, so it's not going to fucking like they're not gonna kill this bitch what's gonna happen is that he's gonna be dying in some crazy shit and then she's gonna be like no and then gas tank is gonna be like get out of the way and she's gonna be like no i love him i can't i can't let you do it and she's gonna kiss the beast and he's gonna fucking and he's gonna turn to a prince person and then they're gonna be like oh that's not a beast that's a person duh but I don't know, let's see. There's only 20 minutes left, but I want another beer. Cause three is not enough! Yeah, I like that this guy's in drag and his immediate thing is no. This candle is fucking a candle. Why is he pissed that his wax is melting? I like how his girl got a little beauty mark, that way we know she's the sexy one. All the knives are alive too. What the fuck is with this castle? Uh, gas tank is a fucking jackass. Also, Beast, can you please be, like, way stronger than this dude? I don't want you guys to struggle. You have the fucking power of anime and God on your side. This never works out. Beast. Letting him live and shit. Watch him turn around and try and stab you in the eyeball, man. Is this a video game? This is Disney. I know that they try and fucking just squeeze out every penny. I really don't see how this could be a video game, but I bet it... Oh, he got stabbed right in the back. I told you... I told you! Oh, gas tank gonna die? Yep, that's one hell of a drop. Oh, the flower's dying. Is he dying? So the flower's dying? Is it like a thing? Oh, he died! <laughs> he ain't dead. Every time I think someone dies in these movies, they never actually die. Kiss him or some shit or fucking, I don't know, just suck his dick a little. What the shit is this? Oh, is he turning human? Yeah, he is. Duh. All right, let's see what this dude looks like as a poison. Look at that, Bell. Now you can fuck him and make kids and shit. Ew, that's what he fucking looks like? I like it. I got used to him as a beast. I want him to be a beast. All the gargoyles get to turn into fucking shit now. Oh, are they gonna fucking do the thing? Yeah, yeah, that's fucking it. That is fucking it. Why does he still look like a clock? Oh, look at them all married and shit. Oh, look at Chip. That's mama, son? Mom's organs worked way beyond when they should. Mom's gonna die when you're a teen, bro. Dope. How do I feel? I mean, that was good, I guess. I mean, I was into it. Yeah, let me give it that. I was I was into this. This was fucking cool. The, the songs were kind of there. This was a little... Ah, what's the word? It was a little more whimsical than I, I imagined that I was getting into. I see far more fallacies than I, I guess, like, I don't, uh this is complicated. Because I'm torn, like, I'm happy that they're happy, but they were drawn happy. If this was, like, a real-life situation, I don't know if I would feel as, like, fucking happy for these people. I do feel like this is a classic case of Stockholm Syndrome. The Beast, like kidnapped people the beast is a criminal the beast belongs in jail but then bell comes in like enabling the beast by saying that his behavior it's it's okay because like she yelled at him one time then like even that makes me go against my own beliefs because i do feel like if you can change your ways if like someone is able to point out your flaws to you and you're able to self-reflect and then take that new information to operate in a new way moving forward that's just life that's just growing and shit so maybe this is the story of the beast growing but like what the fuck can he offer bell like bell didn't grow at all throughout this entire fucking movie bell stood the same bitch that we met at the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie like shit nothing happened for bell 
The Beast just got all the fucking benefits and shit. This is a conflicting movie, for sure. Like, my adult brain, it's very hard to turn it off when watching this movie. Because I see clear fucking abuse! But at the same time, I know I have to, like, turn that off. But this is also what we show kids. I wonder how many girls are in bad relationships because their favorite movie was fucking Beauty and the Beast. And they just thought they could change a fucking dude. Oh, this is... Ah, man, I'm gonna have to fucking think about this one because it's not easy. This one isn't easy for me. As far as the characters themselves, I really liked all the servants and shit. The candlestick is my main man because he's a little pussy hound. Gas Tank is also fucking super manipulative and fucked up when really his fucking love interest is Peanut, that little guy with the janky teeth who's like in love with him and shit. He made a whole song. Belle was cool, but again, like we don't see Belle's growth at all. Like we don't see her change and that sucks for a main character the beast was the most interesting character in this movie like i know it was a bit of a roller coaster figuring out how i felt about him but ultimately i did like the beast at the end of the movie i thought like he was the most enjoyable to watch so that's commendable and that gives him a ton of points in my book where would this rank with fucking the other movies that i've seen it's definitely above the fox and the fucking hound because that movie is just <laughs> but i do like this one i think more than little mermaid even actually i man i we're learning that together right now and shit i even think i kind of like this no i don't like this more than hunchback of notre dame i couldn't even get through saying it so we know that that's not true but i do like it a little bit more than little mermaid somehow so fucking there it is very cool guys if you stood to the end of this reaction fucking thank you a lot i'm glad that you you've made it here hello like the video because that helps me out leave a comment just to say hello and what you thought about this movie and tell me about the stockholm syndrome because that is fucking very important to me go down to the description of this video and follow me across my social media because then you and i can be friends and like friends are cool and if you want to go above and beyond become a patreon where there's a ton of exclusive content i will see you guys on the next disney react peace video creeps ever seen if you don't believe me ask these guys they know what i mean rebecca reviews and kyoko larry sherman and corey stewart car woman and spooky butchers grindhouse lord lorex core runs with punks michael andrews mandy Captain Boots Grimnir Survivor's Guilt Black Voorhees and Wig Wolf Wouldn't you agree that I have the biggest dick in the world? That's why they're my Patreons Cause they know That I have the biggest dick in the world Everyone talks about it it's just too crazy not to make a discussion about because it's so awesome and everybody go